Today's video, we are going to be changing the clutch packs in the differential. I went to do a little bit of a burnout. First time it did all right, spun both tires. Second time it spun only one, and it has been occasionally spinning only one pretty frequently here. So, and I've seen it in the past. So we're changing those. And so we're gonna start off by just taking the wheels off, drums, and then we'll pop the cover, drain the fluid, and get the C-clips out for the axles. Okay, so I did kind of a bad job of recording for this part, but I pulled the tires off and the uh, brake drums. And also I, let's see this, obviously there's the, the, the cover, the diff cover. Drained the fluid and then in your carrier, this hole right there where that pin goes through. And right here, there's an eight millimeter bolt that holds it in. So you wanna pull that out and pull the pin down, out. So once you have that pulled out, you can push in on the axle out here, like that, and then you should be able to gain access to the, there's a little C-clip that goes around the axle in a slot. Take that off, and then uh, you can pull your axle out some. You don't have to pull it all the way out. You can if you want. Also, soak your clutch packs in friction modifier. I just have them here in the Ziploc soaking um but yeah soak those and i'll get under here and show you what's next right there is that little c-clip um push in on the axle jeremy okay it might be loose enough for me to get in here with this oh how did the heck it's just <laughs> like yeah oh there we go all right, so yeah, I got the seat. Got the seat. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the C-clip is now in the bottom of that oil pan. <laughs> Turn it until it's 180 for me. There you go, you can see it better. This is the old fashioned way. It's easier than the magnet. Just push it off. Should go out the back. There it is. Okay. All right, now we just have to, we have to get this S spring or whatever you want to call it out of the middle. Okay, so I marked the gears so that I could tell which one goes where because it's important to put them back where they originally were meant to be. And now we're going to remove that S spring. I'm going to take that little block of wood like this and this hammer and pound on the center of that and try to get it to go as far to the back as I can. And spin the differential and um, try to pull it out some pliers and pry it out. Well, that moved a lot easier than I thought it would. I used the screwdriver on the back in addition. And there it is. See, so, yeah, I rolled it. So the one spider gear came towards me, but I didn't pay attention to the other one like I should have, and it sort of flopped out the back. But I have it. It's right here. And it has its washer, which it needs to have. Now that those are out, because I got them out by just spinning the side gear, uh, I think the side gear just pulls off. It's coming and trying to bring the clutch pack with it. Some clutches, so... All right, so that's the side gear and all the clutches. Left the washer behind. All right, got the shim out. All right, so here's our uh, passenger side clutch pack and they're just sort of smooth like i don't know there's nothing to them really the new ones you can kind of see like i don't know they have like a they have pads and you can feel them on there i'm thinking these are pretty darn worn out which i guess makes sense since we we're doing one wheel peel so we were a little confused because we have these other shims that came 
and they had different thicknesses so we didn't know what was what so apparently from googling around you have to take the thickness of your shim this top shim here and uh, find measure it find the thickness and then choose the shims that are the closest out of what they gave you to your originals and then put those in so measuring the old one we got 0 0.045 uh, but our closest shim is 0 0.040, you said? Yep. It's labeled on there. Yeah, it's labeled on there, shim. And the other one is 0 0.050. So I guess we're just going to use our closest ones they gave us of 0 0.040. I'm not sure why you can't just reuse the old one. I don't, I'm, I don't know. To me, it seems like you should just be able to reuse it, but... I guess we'll throw her together and see. So we were gonna do it in the same order they were on the gear originally, but then we found that on LMR, for these Ford Performance clutch packs, they had a different order they wanted us to use. And it was actually on LMR's website. So bottom up, it goes steel, friction, steel, steel, friction, steel, friction, shim. So these being steel and those being friction and then the shim being the shim. Now you just stick this in here with these ears lining up the tabs and the differential housing. So terrible lighting, but we have these spider gears in, in the top and the bottom. They have to be perfectly aligned because of that pin that has to slide through the top. And so you want to take your hand, go on the back side of the carrier and then one on the front side, kind of line them up and then rotate them in. We kept hitting interference, no idea what it was. But then I had Jeremy stick driver side axle in and see if he could kind of turn things a little. Really didn't work and then he pulled the axle out and then I put some pressure on them and they just slid right into place. No idea what happened there, but I'm happy it happened. Now we have to get that spring in. So that should be fun. Okay, so we got the S spring now in the vise, like Chris Fix said. Watch his video because it's really good. And we're gonna compress it, clip it onto it with some vice grips. Here, Jeremy. Oh, it just makes me nervous. I just don't like this much spring. You did the right thing and wore safety goggles. I did the even more right thing and wore turbo goggles. You got them, club? This isn't working. Yeah, it was about 0% workage there. What if you clip onto the other side too? We got more than one pair of them. Can you make it so small that you can literally just tuck one end in? Maybe. We're going off script now. See, that this looks promising to me. It does not look promising to me at all. What? All right, when these go flying every which way, watch your teeth. <laughs> there, I got the wide angle. I'll just back this right up. Oh, I can feel them moving. I don't know look at it. Yeah, that'll get you in the back of the head. That's not so bad as the face. At least if it hits me in the back of the head, it just kills me. I don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to deal with the disfigurement for the rest of your life? Yeah. This is some Peter type shimmyatsu here. This was the only idea we had. You can't get them in far enough. Oh, you can't even like get that one end in there. I was hoping maybe you could like tuck it in there a little and then let one of them go pow and then. <laughs> well, you can't because of Mr. Big Teeth. Ah, he's a little too chungusy, huh? Okay, come on. A little ouch. Woohoo! Just took my fingernail on the <laughs> that bottom one. Huh. Right. So. Alright. Hopefully, this is the video isn't a video recording of our last moments on this planet. <laughs> Yeah, figure out how one wrench would kill both of us. Or wrench. My scripts. So, 
This is really hard and it's gonna hurt me because it's gonna go pow. You understand what I'm saying there, Billy? Yeah. Why don't you do this? No, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> what if I brought the creeper in here like a shield? I can't get it to undo. Oh. Fly out. Okay. It's hammer time. Stop. Hammer time. Stop. Hammer time. I moved it some. I'm going fishing. Got it. Ooh, it's a lunker. Push, it? the, push that out. Or out? in. All the way in. I think it's in. Pull out. Give me the new cross bolt for this thing and clean this. Well, this is a little bit after the fact, but yeah, I didn't record when we tested on her, but she's got two-wheel peel now. The clutches work. Yeah, yeah, I should have recorded and done an actual burnout video. That will come. I, uh, we got a new line lock we're going to put on, and we'll test on her then and maybe make a little short. All right, well... Thanks for watching the vidya, and uh, we'll be back next time with something else stupid, I'm sure. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Maybe give the video a like if you want to. See you in the next one.